So Rogue users, if you're watching this video today, uh, I'm pretty sure that it's because you're having some issues with your Netflix and using DNS services. As you know, Netflix has been currently enforcing a strong policy uh, in order to prevent people from getting access to Netflix libraries from other parts of the world thanks to the use of DNS. Now, uh, we have been receiving a lot of emails about this subject and I have been doing some research and found out that uh, it's more of a problem depending on your DNS provider rather than simply Netflix blocking accounts. They're not really blocking the accounts, they're just not letting you watch the content that is outside of your region. However, we have found out a way to bypass this. And now, uh, because this is a comparison video, we cannot give you the exact name on the video, but you will be able to find the DNS that we use that works the best on the links provided in the description of this video and also on the small icon or the info on the video. Just click on it and it will take you directly there. Now, I'll show how it works real quick. We will access Netflix as usual. Uh, right now, we're in Central America, but we're set up on the US content. Now, what happens usually is that whenever you try to access content nowadays on your Netflix account and you're using a DNS service, if the content you're watching is not authorized for your country, what will simply happen is that Netflix is not going to allow you to run, let's say, the show or the series. We're going to look, for instance, for Top Gear. Right now we're in the US, setting it on the US, but we are on Central America in Panama. As you'll see, I'll just play the episode. Sometimes, as you can see, a, a screen will pop up and it says, you seem to be using an unblocker or proxy. Please turn off any of these services and try again. For more help, contact Netflix. Now, this will always happen, always happen whenever you try to access the content that is not allowed in your region. But with our DNS, the one we strongly recommend you, and as we previously said, you can find it on the video, we only have to go to, I'll show you right quick here, to our account and you'll see that I have to first get out of Netflix, right? Because I need to to, to get to re reload the, the, the library and then I go to Smart DNS. Let me see if it's updating, okay. And it's checking the service status and this Smart DNS is different from other DNS because what it does is that it has like a dynamic setting it, it allows you to program each channel independently. So what I'll do is just click USA again so it gets updated. Give me the green check. It says everything is fine. And then I just try again. Now this works like around 80% or 90% of the time. But it's somewhat tedious because you have to first uh, check out and see if it hasn't recognized that you're outside the states or it, if if it does, then you have to log on to your account. Now, we'll try it again and show you that it works, hopefully. I've been doing it like for the last four or five days and it works almost all the time. We'll show you the same show that we chose, which was Top Gear. Now you'll see, we'll simply click on it. Remember that we're in Latin America. We'll tell him, tell it, play episode. It's not working. We just go outside, wait for a few seconds since we updated the, the the location of our servers and you know it depends on the service provider. So right now we have to wait a few minutes, maybe a few seconds, free to update on their servers uh, in the States and we should be good to go. Let's we'll see if it works this time. <clears throat> I mean this is somewhat annoying but thank goodness Netflix is not actually canceling accounts because if they had done so I will definitely leave their services. Let's see if it works this time. Sometimes you have to try two or three times but once you update your DNS on your account it should work fine. Let me go again. I'll just go for the show. Sorry for the problems here. We'll try it one more time it should be working hopefully I'll just show you right now it's taking some time because what it's doing is it's trying to follow the trace of the new server and that's the good thing about our dns it's because it's dynamic okay let me just look now you can see that we have